it's our newest server version, the Xperia engine. Version 2.0, we worked for it now nearly two years. And we have a lot of really cool stuff in there. Um, <coughs> so the thing is, yesterday David and I talked about what, do we what can we do to demo it. It's quite difficult to de demo just, this, just an Xperia engine. And we wanted to show at least scripting, collections, full test, text, rest, or um, external modules. And so something that, has, that uses all these techniques is a command line Twitter client. And it has the following features. It can authenticate via OAuth. It shows the last 20 tweets, uses can like tweets, which means it basically adds them to a persistent collection. And <coughs> then the user can search tweets with uh, full text. So if you see the new full text implementation is over. And the user can translate tweets into another language if he wants to. So <coughs> first of all, let me just show how it works, so that everybody trusts me that actually it does work. And I hope that the internet connection is stable, because otherwise... So, <coughs> first of all, so this is an uh, easy command line interface. And then I can see the last 20 tweets. And I get the... Uh, yeah, basically this is what you know from the usual Twitter interface. It's just really puristic. Um, I can like a tweet by just copy and paste the, um, the ID and I can look which tweets I'm liking so I added a few before these are those then as I said I can translate them um, I translate to John because now I lost my mouse again well and I can search them. Ooh. Well, and as you can see, it's really full text, so it's yeah, you don't see it perfectly, but yeah, it's full text, you can trust me. <laughs> so, just very brief how it works. So, first of all, as a um, it is planned to make a tutorial out of this. So I first implemented an external module because server doesn't support the command line interface. So we cannot read and print to F from and to uh, command line. So I just have basically do these two external function and the helper function in this module. And <coughs> the implementation is just to show it's really straightforward. Basically it's these two function where it happens. So if you know C++, it's just it gets the argument, it gets the string value, and it prints it. And the other one, it just makes a get line from the uh, input stream. It creates a string, and it returns a single item sequence, which means just one string to the XQuery program. And just very shortly to see how, how large the, basically the code is for the client. So I wrote this basically nearly everything today and the part of it yesterday evening. So this is the whole main routine, which gets called by the main query. Um, it just authenticates the user. It initializes the collection, which means it reads an XML file from the, data, uh, from the file system because we don't have database backend. Um, it, then it prints it, uh, it uses here reflection to get, uh, to get uh, the function it has to call. If it doesn't find the function with the name of the command, then it just prints command not found. And then here every command is implemented. So we have here about 90 lines of code. And this is, oops, this is the main query. So it, this is the Twitter client. So it uses a lot of scripting and yeah as i said we will write a tutorial for that and i won't go through the code line by line obviously because i already running out of time 
but uh, yeah, um, here you can see what you can do in with uh, Server 2.0 with about 200 lines of poor code. Thank you very much. <laughs>